Hello everyone, my name is Akeel and this is Tier 1 Gaming. In today's video, I want to talk about the Fall Patch, which came out last month. Uh, I would have done a video on it back then, of course I didn't have internet access until just recently. So, uh, I'm doing it now. Um, a lot of people probably know about these changes, but I want to really just go over what they're doing and what they did, and how it's actually affecting the gameplay now. I also wanted to talk about later on is, is BF4 actually fixed now? Is it a game that people who quit to go play something else because of all the bugs, should they come back now and give it another try? We'll get to that near the end of the video. So first thing I do want to say is that um, as my first video sort of back on the YouTube scene with uh, my PS4, um, I want to know if any of you more experienced people out there do know how to sort of, um, do color correction with an Elgato because I've noticed my colors have been a bit muted. But so if any of you guys know that, please send me a message. Anyways, let's get started on the actual video. So the core changes that they've really done with this new patch is that they've changed the player movement to it more closely matches what that what it was in Battlefield 3, and it's still maintaining the animation fidelity of Battlefield 4. But you're more you're more agile, you move faster, you can. It, it, it doesn't feel as sort of clunky. There's not the huge wind up when you're going to accelerate anymore. It's just all really nice really solid movement speeds. The high frequency network update has been added to PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 and set to high by default. So this makes sure that they have the best um, network experience right there. And the biggest thing that I've noticed really is that the reduced visual recoil of guns. You'll notice as I'm playing through here, my red light doesn't really jump around that much and that's because the visual recoil has been so greatly reduced. Um, pretty much what this is doing is it's now showing you the true aim of your crosshair. You're always going to be on par with, like, on target with where your shots are actually landing. In the previous versions of the game, this recoil would just make the dot bounce around off where your uh, actual aim is. So what it would make you do is you'd try to adjust for recoil that isn't actually there, so you would miss more shots than you would need to. And the next thing I want to talk about is that the netcode has seen several tweaks. I'm not going to be able to go over them all. And is this the netcode in Battlefield 4 is now the fastest in franchise history. It's topping over Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2. It's in counting client the client values, it's the fastest. The delay is now lower than it's ever been before. And they're also improving hit detection significantly. Now, one big thing they added in with this patch is a mode called Classic Mode. Now, it's here by popular demand, and uh, the rules on the server, you know, they sort of hone back to Battlefield 2 and 3, and they're designed for skilled players looking for more of a challenge and seeking stricter rules. For instance, you are able to spawn on only the squad leader in classic mode, increasing the challenge and need for greater tactical thinking as a squad leader. Maybe you will want to have your squad leader hang back and fly a map while your actual squad fights, so that way you have a spawn point. I think, I still haven't got a chance to really play this mode, I really want to, because it seems like almost a mix between Hardcore and Classic, and I, although I like both modes, um, this seems like it could be really fun to play with a good squad over, you know, TeamSpeak or uh, through in-game chat. They've streamlined the game UI too. They made several improvements and customization options to Battlefield 4 HUD. As you can see here, I'm playing with a size 151% map. This really allows me to, to see finer details, and I did touch this in my last video, but I really can't advocate this enough. If you are playing and you're a really significant player, you might want to look at increasing your map size so that way you have much um, more information available to you on where the enemy actually is. Now, you can also change the in-world icons that are visible while aiming down sights. Something you might notice as I'm playing throughout here, whenever I aim at something like an objective and there's a guy in front of it, the objective marker will sort of fade away the closer it gets to my crosshair. This means that no longer will, like, a can a guy quote-unquote hide behind these objective markers, because that happened to me so many times where I just couldn't see the guy who was right in front of me because there was an objective behind him. And now that this it fades away when you aim at it, it's actually a really good feature, and they had it in Black Ops 2, which is why... I'm really glad to see it in this game. And these are just a few of the improvements that are coming in the fall update, but as you can see, you know, they're all really welcome, and the game is playing now better than it ever has before. But is it playing good enough? I mean, a lot of people were burned by this game, like, I know I have a good friend of mine who has absolutely despised this game, even though he was such a big fan of Battlefield 3, and... I mean, he rages so hard at this game, he hasn't played this new patch, and I'm thinking, is it worthwhile for him to come back and try out the new patch? In my personal opinion, yes, it is, because with all the changes they made, one thing I didn't even notice is that, not notice, they didn't even put in, is that um, they have reduced the damage from all of the automatic weapons. They, is now the time to kill has increased, which means the DMRs, which is a gun that my friend was really fond of using, are actually very viable now. And, I mean... 
you can almost beat out any AR user with a DMR as long as you get the first shot on the guy. Anyways, um, I do think that they really have improved the game. The net code is phenomenal now. As long as you have good, a good internet connection, you're going to enjoy the game. And I'm saying that because I have other friends who have bad ones who are still getting netcode problems, who are getting kill trades. And it, that is your internet now, I've got to say. I am running on $30 internet, and I do just fine. So, I do think it is better. It is really good. If you are a total hardcore fan of the series, you might want to come back and check out Classic Mode. And there's a lot more to offer, and especially with things like the improved Rush game mode and other things like that. I would say if you wage quit the game, if you didn't like the way it was playing because it was so buggy, you just quit it out, you're not playing anymore, give it another try. The game has really been improved, it's, they're doing their best, and it's really well done now. I would really recommend giving it another shot. Anyways guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you liked me in the comment I produced, hit the subscribe button. And if you didn't like the video because I did a pretty bad job, just say something in the comments about a nice discussion about it. Anyways guys, that's all for now. I'll see you all on the next one. Bye.